Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can display a specific view of a SharePoint list on a SharePoint page. So here's the scenario for you. I have this project list, a list of projects. Of course, it's a custom SharePoint list that I maintain. It happens to reside on my main internet uh, hub site, all right? Uh, and what I would like to do is um, I would like to display a list of projects over here on this main site, but I only want to um, display the list of active projects, all right? I don't need to see the whole list. I just want to see the list of active projects. So here is how we make it happen. Let me navigate to uh, site contents. Here is my project list that resides on this site. So it displays all active and active projects. What I would like to do is, uh, again, display just the active projects on the main page. So there are two steps involved, all right? Step number one, we need to create a view that will filter out uh, es essentially uh, closed projects, all right? I just need to see the active ones. Um, so what we are going to do, we are going to filter, all right? And we could filter by the header or through the filters pane, just like I'm doing here, perfect. All right, so just display, this view displays me the active projects. I need to save it, by the way. All right, so let's save it as a separate view. So active only. All right, perfect. So here is our active projects view. And you know what? Because this is just, uh, you know, this just shows all the active projects already. I don't need to even to see this, right? I know it's already active. So let's, uh, uh, let's hide this column. Perfect. All right, fantastic. So my view is ready. All right, displays all the active projects just like I, how I want them. So let's go ahead now and uh, do step number two. So step number one is completed. Step num number two would be um, to display this list on our page. We add the list right here. Here we go. Here is our project list. Now, of course, by default, it shows us everything, right? Uh, all the projects, but you need to click this little pencil icon over here. All right, don't uh, don't try to change it over here. It's not going to do anything. Uh, make sure to hit that little pencil icon. Here we go. And on the right side, right, this is where we get to customize uh, the views uh, of our uh, list. And by default, you see it shows me the all items view, but we can say, no, we only want active projects, active only. All right. And by the way, I also like to, when I display uh, lists on the page, I also like to hide this command bar, right? Uh, this is not something maybe users should even see. So let's hide that. Perfect. Hit apply. And look at this. All right, we just need to hit publish, right? Don't forget to hit publish. And look at this. Here is my list of active projects. All right. So it uh, just pretty much uh, shows me uh, the whole, the whole uh, list. Now, um, if I click see all, all right, it pretty much navigates to the list itself. And of course, again, it shows me active projects, but I could uh, easily change it to all items view if I wanted to see uh, all of them. All right. One other quick thing I wanted to mention is that the same uh, feature, the same capability is available for document libraries as well. So if I were to uh, embed a document library on the page, all right, let me edit the page again. Let's add the document library to the page. Here we go. All right, uh, right here. Uh, let's just say this library. I don't happen to have anything in here. I don't have any documents. I don't have any views, but just to show you, you see we have the same capability on the document libraries as well. So if you do, if you maybe created a, a document library and happen to utilize uh, metadata, right? Custom metadata you created. Uh, of let's say your policies documents or you know some other documents you could then also create a uh, pretty much a special view uh, on, on that library and then display it uh, from here you know essentially choose it from this drop down and publish and it would uh, then display uh, the, um, uh, the the specific documents that uh, fit that particular view uh, on the page uh, so that's all i wanted to show you in this particular video hopefully you learned a new trick as always Happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.